Thank you. Uh, good morning. Uh, look, this morning I want to walk you through where uh, green critical mineral stands today and why we believe VHD graphite is about to reshape the thermal management industry. This presentation, it isn't about promises, it's about execution. We've moved from acquisition to validation and now we're entering the customer testing and early sales phase. My goal today is simple, show you why this is real, why it matters and why now is the time to start following GCM. Uh, a standard disclaimer. Okay, what we have is a unique mix. A world-class team in material science and engineering, the rights to fully own a technology that will rev with a revolutionary process, and now we have customer validation from major industry players. It's a unique combination of a globally exclusive technology, proven performance advantages, and strong market engagement. What makes this exciting for investors is that the market need is real and immediate. Data centres, AI, high-performance computers, electronics, they're all overheating and current materials, such as aluminium and copper, are reaching their limits. The problem is clear. The legacy materials, aluminium and copper, can no longer keep up with the thermal demands of industry. Customers are telling us their current solutions are limiting performance. VHD graphite solves that. It's made from a common mineral, but processed in a way that delivers exceptional thermal properties. And we, GCM, own the global rights. If I take a moment to explain where GCM has come from and its growth strategy. We previously acquired the rights to an upstream graphite project, the Macintosh project in Western Australia. This project provides us with an opportunity to produce a high quality fine flake graphite concentrate. That is for GCM to enter the graphite powder market. The development of Macintosh is progressing we are currently in the process of finalising a pre-feasibility study. But the graphite powder market is congested. Graphite is abundant. And to successfully grow a large and sustainable business, you need to scale. You need to bring something unique. You need to diversify. Therefore, as we see it, if you want to compete successfully in the future in the graphite industry, you need to offer processed application ready products. And that's where the VHD technology comes in. We realised early that to create value, we had to move downstream, to control the process, the IP, and ultimately the product that enters the high-tech supply chains. What is VHD? How does it work? So the VHD technology takes graphite powder and converts it into a graphite block or a shape. It converts the powder into a solid, pro solid product. This graphite block can then be machined into various end products, either by GCM or by third parties. How do we do this? The easiest way to think about it is think about it like making a cake. You have a recipe, you have the ingredients, and you have a methodology. We start with graphite, we introduce some key binders, and using a relatively low temperature, fast turnaround process, we produce very high density graphite blocks. It's this specific recipe which provides us with graphite blocks with superior thermal performance. And we've extended well past the lab stage. We've built the first line of our pilot plant. We've tested the plant and we've validated the product through independent laboratories and through customer interest. We have progressed from achieving success in our lab environment to producing final product using mass market production techniques. And the potential markets for VHD are vast. They are large and they are expanding. With the growth in data centres, AI servers, high performance computing. Through to the automotive sector, defence, aerospace, all require superior thermal management products. So the VHD is, it provides from a material that it not only performs better than copper and aluminium in many applications, it's also lighter cost-effective to process, doesn't rely on complex supply chains, and it offers a potential for our customers to reduce their scope three emissions.
Where are we at? When we acquired the rights to the VHD technology, we outlined our pathway to commercialisation. Our activities were structured around three themes, validating the technology, customer engagement, and commercialisation and first revenue. We've moved quickly since acquiring the technology in late 2024, and we have progressed extremely well, achieving and in many cases, exceeding our own targets. We have designed and built the first line of our pilot plant, with the second line of the pilot plant well advanced and soon to be entering the commissioning phase. We've commissioned the first line. We've produced our first sample products. We've tested these products and validated the key thermal properties of VHD. That is, in a very short period of time, we've achieved our first theme, technology validation. As we progress through the final stages of this technology validation process, we actively pursued our second theme, customer engagement. We've had very encouraging feedback from potential customers and we continue to be very active in this space. Customer engagement and customer feedback will be a continuous focus for Green Critical Minerals. As part of this customer engagement process, we've machined, machined our first full-scale heatsink. This is a critical moment. It shows that the product can be machined, drilled, tapped. That is, it can be converted from its solid block form into a final end product, ready for integrating into customers' cooling systems. Given the customer feedback and the rapid and significant progress we've made in the last six months, this has given us the confidence to set ourselves the target of achieving in the first half of calendar year 2026 first revenue. This will be a significant challenge to achieve, and if we are successful, it will mean that in not much more than 12 months, we will have acquired the VHD technology, validated its superior properties, confirmed its late stage development status, completed commercialisation, negotiated sales contract, and be in production. As can be seen from the progress we have achieved today, we are well down the road to achieving all of this. Bringing a graphite product into the market requires a customer to accept or to qualify the project, uh, product. The customer needs to understand the product prior to integrating it into their own product range. We've designed a three-stage pathway for this. The first is the technology validation stage, which as I mentioned, we've completed. The next stage is the customer acceptance stage. The first part of this stage is us exploring potential customers and providing them the opportunity to conduct desktop technical or desktop level technical due diligence. We provide customers with the publicly available technical performance specs of VHD. And then there is also the opportunity for Q&A sessions to discuss the product and future collaboration information sharing opportunities. This customer engagement process has multiple steps. After the technical DD stage, we then move to providing samples to customers or entering into collaborations agreements. This is the first opportunity for the customers to have the physical product themselves. Customers will perform their own testing and compare against their existing solutions. In a sense, they are validating the technical due diligence they performed. This is also the stage where we work with our partners who have signed collaboration agreements, where we will perform computer modelling and other analysis, understanding how VHD graphite will be used in their applications, such as in data centres, and quantifying the potential benefits of using the VHD product. Moving to this customer sample stage, we see as a significant milestone event. As at this stage, customers will start to invest significantly their own resources into understanding VHD graphite. Upon completion of the customer testing step, we would then move to prototyping. That is, we will produce prototypes, develop from the results and feedback from the previous stage, and then test in a live environment these prototypes. The final stage is where we negotiate our sales agreements and set ourselves to achieve our first revenue. There's a lot there, and so how are we going with our commercialisation activities? Well, we believe very well. We are very active in the customer engagement phase, 
And not only do we have numerous conversations ongoing at the technical due diligence stage, we have also been able to progress to the next stage. So far, we have two customers, we recently announced one yesterday, who have requested samples, and we have another customer who has signed a collaboration agreement with us, and they are a sustainability-focused data centre company. This extremely fast early adoption and positive response not only validates the VHD technology, but also the customer engagement process we have adopted. We're excited to continue our commercialisation roadmap, and we look forward to the journey with our potential customers as those early adopters move towards having specific VHD products developed for them, and as more customers commence their VHD journey. It's not a stretch to say we're already building bridges to the revenue phase, not in the distant future, but within the next 12 months. We've achieved an incredible amount in the last six months, and this is only energising us to deliver more success. This quarter and next, we'll be focused on receiving more customer feedback from the testing process, delivering and testing customer prototypes, bringing more customers into the VHD commercialisation roadmap process, both providing samples and finalising more collaboration agreements, and we'll be looking to expand our footprint, having warehouse and logistics capabilities in North America and possibly in Europe, to enable our scalable delivery. These are regions, North America and Europe, with high demand for thermal management products. If we just take a moment to return to our strategy. One of the key things we were seeking when we implemented our downstream strategy was to require a technology which allowed us to achieve near-term revenue and which was cost-effective as we moved through commercialisation and then into production. Along with all the achievements I've just mentioned on the VHD product, we've also been progressing the PFS for the Macintosh project, which will be completed this quarter. We've had a lot going on at GCM. We've completed a huge amount, and doing this, we've been able to achieve our objective of cost-effective development. Quarter on quarter, our cash balance decreased by less than $600,000, yet we've achieved major success with both VHD and at Macintosh highlighting the cost-effective development affords us plenty of capacity to continue our rapid progress. Finally, to summarise it all, we've reset the strategy for GCM, leveraging and complementing the Macintosh Graphite project by moving downstream. We've progressed at speed, achieving or exceeding our targets. We've developed our pilot plant, We've validated the technology, and we've received strong customer interest from the large and growing thermal management market that VHD is targeted to. Yet, and despite all of this, we have a market capitalisation which, for what we have achieved, significantly lags our peers. We see this as a tremendous opportunity for investors with great upside as we continue our progress to completion of commercialisation and to first revenue. Thank you.